Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Rezdar and uh, this is the Road to Six Pack series where I show you guys how I go from overweight to getting in shape and getting my abs to show. If you know the story, I got depressed, I moved back to my mom because my economy was shit, I quit working out, uh, a lot of things happened, I'm not gonna go into detail of all that, but there's probably some people out there that can relate to the story and things may feel like shit and fitness is gonna get you on the right track. It's gonna make you feel healthier, not only in your body, but your mind as well. So uh, this was me in January, right? And this is a picture I took just uh, two, three weeks ago when I was on vacation, which is why I haven't uploaded so much as well. Yeah, so you're probably wondering, like, what is your diet? So I was thinking that I'm gonna show you exactly uh, like a full day of how I eat examples and kind of talk about uh, how I think when I eat because uh, there's a lot of misconception when it comes to damn it I'm gonna drive to the store and buy me some food Alright, so uh, when I go and grocery shop, I have a few items that I always make sure to get. Uh, one of them is fruits, and the reason why I get fruits is because I always want to have a substitute for sugary stuff, because usually candy is high in calories and you can't just eat that every single day. So what I do instead is I buy fruits because it's very low in calories and you can still kill that sweet tooth. Now. One problem that a lot of people have, wow, I'm, I have a really uh, hard time getting into protein intake. So I'm gonna give you guys some examples to increase your protein intake for the day. It's really, really important when your goal is to lose weight. And the reason for that is, is because we're in a caloric deficit, which means your body's gonna burn both fat and muscle unless you give your body sufficient amount of protein to rebuild the muscle when you're in the gym and working out but also if you eat a lot of protein you're less likely to be hungry that's the effect it has on you so one of those is ham slices 20 grams of protein almost and very low in carbs very low in fat this way you don't have to cook anything you don't have to do anything you just put it in your mouth right here we have a chicken breast fillet on sale it has 20 grams of protein it's very low in fat very low in carbs I always eat this before I go to sleep and it's quark if you don't have quark where you live there is something called a low fat Greek yogurt which has similar macros Fuck me, man, this fucking phone. If you toss in some fruits, you have an amazing fruit salad. This is my number one tip to kill all your cravings. I always eat this at the night. God damn it, I forgot to buy minced meat. I put the groceries there, I'm gonna go through it soon. And I came home to this. Dishes. Hey, now it's not too bad, right? Now it seems like something that's doable. This right here is the My Protein uh, water jug. Pretty awesome to get your daily intake of water. Don't judge my technique, all right? I was a very spoiled kid, so I didn't do the dishes a lot. Hey, that's something that you go out on YouTube and talk about? Yay! I'm so fucking inspiring as a person. I have, this is what you're gonna look like when you move out. Living the lifestyle of a dream YouTuber. I recently moved out a couple months ago. And the idea was that let's move to something cheap so we can save money and buy an apartment. And that becomes an investment for the future. <laughs> My plan was to actually make uh, burgers and you guys know the T-Rez burgers that I always do that are super tasty and they have the, the macros are amazing but they will be even better macros with minced chicken because by the way if you're like what is macros macros protein carbs and fats and the different ratios at the end of the day you want to make sure that you've gotten enough protein enough carbs enough fats it's going to be even easier to fill that protein intake for the day without going above your fat intake because minced chicken has less fat than uh, minced meat. Squeaky clean. It took me uh, too long to do this. All right, I think I'm late with a client. That took way longer than expected. I'm on time, yes. Done with the clients, it took a lot of longer than I expected. As usual, I'm a time optimist. 
What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna count calories the easy way. That means I'm not gonna use a scale. So for you who have never counted calories ever before, it says on the package here that uh, it's 500 grams. So as long as you know the weight of it, uh, you're good to go. So I'm just gonna take half of it. Look, what the hell? Half of it is 250 grams. That's all we need to know right now. It's cooking, what we gotta do is we gotta go into LifeSum, it's a calorie counting app. Most of you probably know what it is. I've used uh, LifeSum ever since 2015. Depending on your need, your level of activity, and your goal, you need to consume a certain amount of calories. Calories is just measuring energy. So you need a certain amount of energy. If you wanna build muscle, you need to have a certain amount of energy so that your body can do everything that it needs to do, plus adding on some muscle. If you wanna burn fat, you have to give your body a specific amount of energy so that your body's always uh, lacks a little bit and it starts taking off from the fat because fat is just an energy reserve for the body. These will be the wraps that we're gonna use. It's gonna be perfect to hold the burger in. So what you do is you kind of just peel it off like that. There we go, look at this. Perfect substitute for bread. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually measure the amount of calories in this. So uh, what I do is I go in here and we did 250 grams of chicken, minced chicken. So I'm gonna search for it right here. There are different amounts of fat in different, so I gotta make sure. Yeah, that was the one, 500 grams. There is also a scanning feature, which is pretty good. You can just click the scan right there. And you can scan the barcode. You see the ketchup that I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna actually eat some ketchup. Oh, there we go. And also we have cheese, uh, oost, a few cheese slices. Uh, one slice is about 25 grams, that's right. Tomato. One tomato, half, medium size. It's also good because it can show you, uh, this is in Swedish, but it's like small one, medium one, big one, and you can kind of estimate. This is the easy way to do it. 14 calories, oh my God, you can eat like a thousand. Another thing with uh, the app that I've recently discovered, which is uh, pretty good, is it has like this smiley here. And depending on what you're eating, like you might eat a, an ice cream that's like protein ice cream and it has a lot of protein in it, but you know, it's not really healthy for you because it doesn't have vitamins and minerals. It's gonna give you like a sad smiley. Your goal is of course to have a balance. I'm wondering why it's screaming, it's fucking burnt. God damn it, it just smells amazing. Can you see it? Let's, let's do the taste test. Holy smokes. Oh my God. I think this is even better. Comment burger time in the comment section. If you made it this far, one little cheeseburger shit from McDonald's is 300 calories. You get like no protein, just fat. This, my friends, holy mother of shucks. Tomorrow. I just want to tell you guys this. Uh, there's some uh, popcorn here. And I wasn't quite thinking. I just grabbed like a handful and ate it. And then like instantly I was like, fuck, I fucked up. I went into the mode of like, fuck it. I fucked up, doesn't matter. So I grabbed another piece and put it in my mouth. And then I was like, screw it. I'm gonna, and I, I wanted, and then I started to look for other things to fuck up my diet with. I said to myself, look, I have the choice now. I can either just fuck up, keep fucking up, or I can stop right here and not fuck up. I haven't fucked up if I ate two handfuls of popcorn. So actually what I'm going to show you now is what's a handful of, in popcorn grams? 25 grams? I doubt it. Let's put it on a scale and see. A handful. Let's see. 
Damn, that's not even two grams. What the fuck? Two grams. That's 12 calories. What? So I took like four, that's 23 calories. So let's add that to the Lifesome app. And we can just say like, hey, screw this. I'm going to stop. Just because you fuck up a little bit or did something that you didn't plan to do, you just give yourself like a bunch like, oh man, I'm so weak. I'm so dis undisciplined. I'm trash. Uh, I'll try again tomorrow. And we all know how that works. Yo, can you just... I'm gonna show you guys a different type of setup of meals. I just love peach. But first, let me take a selfie. I'm just kidding. Okay. That was the dumbest, most boring joke I've ever pulled. Something that I haven't eaten in a long, long time, and that's sausage. But this isn't any type of sausage. It is high quality. Uh, it has a lot of meat. Uh, be very careful with the uh, type of sausage you use because some of them has like way excessive fat. This has 20 grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, uh, no grams of carbs. Because I'm not too aware of the content of a sausage, because uh, I don't usually eat it, I have to be careful that I don't eat it before logging. There we go. One piece is 70 grams, so one is 160 calories, and I want to eat three of them. Oh, holy smokes, that's a lot of, oh my, squeezy lemon peasy. I've already eaten a thousand million calories. That will be what I eat today. So, awesome. Sausage is quick to make, usually pretty easy. So, not the best source of protein, I'm gonna be honest, but it's goddamn tasty. So this may look boring, but I'm gonna explain what I'm about to do. You know, actually, this would be pretty good if you add in tomato and onion, and you can like add it on top. So instead of bread, what I'm gonna use is salad. Uh, the thing is, uh, with keto, I've heard, I'm not too into, uh, the keto diet, so I don't I'm not certain let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong But like in keto you cannot eat like a single gram of carb even if it's fiber so You cannot eat salad or other types of veggies, which is to me. It sounds really unhealthy You know it has vitamins and minerals that you need in your body for the well-being I mean if you give a shit about that you don't need to do it at all and I'm just gonna use a little tiny itsy bitsy I gotta use ketchup on everything. And I'm eating it like this. Super quick to make. Like this is the thing. I'm looking at the food that I'm eating myself and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Showing you guys what I eat. I'm supposed to show you like all these amazing meals, but that's the thing. This is how I've eaten. I eat whatever the hell I want. Today, I craved some hot dogs and I was like, hmm. So let me try to do a low carb, like no carbs. I'm gonna go high on protein, high on fat, and not go above my calories. You know, I just craved it, so that's what I'm gonna eat today. So the whole point is, you get to eat whatever you want, as long as it fits into your calories. And you can always change the macro ratio if you download like some premium. I don't recommend low protein at all. Uh, only if you're bulking, then you should lower your protein. But if you want to, if you want to lose weight, your protein intake needs to be uh, pretty high. If you can't be without pasta, bread, stuff like that. You can decrease the fats. You can kind of adjust those macros, but keep the protein high. Uh, but for that, you will need the likes on premium. To all my followers, I can give out a 30% discount uh, if you use the link below. Something that's been on my mind for uh, like almost since 1st of July. Uh, my goal was to beat last year's physique, this right here, in July. So in January, I was like, fuck this I'm tired of being fucking out of shape and pissed and I'm making almost no money on whatever it is I'm doing like my uh, face uh, my uh, Instagram my passions basically and when I started this YouTube channel I wanted to, you know just to get in shape and sh uh, share how I did it and people started asking me like hey man I, I would hire you if you make a program for me and it's my, the idea came to my head that I'd start an online coaching business. But that didn't really took off as other things came into, in the way. And now that I finally had the opportunity and ability to, to do this, I'm completely out of shape. 
and I'm like, okay, screw it. You know, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if I'm completely overweight. I don't care if people are gonna judge me. I know what I'm talking about. I have helped countless of people. Like I have so many transformations. You know, I know I can help. And you know what? I'm gonna do it like this. You can hire me and we'll do this transformation together. And um, fuck man, I started in January, I was confident, I knew I was I was gonna do it, and I started off really great. And honestly, I've been, I haven't been fucking up. You know, I had some things in the way that's, uh, you know, where I had to put fitness behind. Like for example, I was on Sweden, Who's Got Talent? So I had to prepare for that. I don't wanna go to the gym and have all this muscle ache when I'm gonna dance and be on stage. And I and, and or when I'm gonna rap, I wanted to focus on that, right? So there's so many things happening. At the same time, I promised myself that I was gonna do every day a comedy video on Instagram. I've been working, I never worked this hard in my entire life. I wake up from the moment I wake up, when I open my goddamn eyes, the first thing that I do is I, I go on my computer, work with clients. And I love it. I'm I wake up and I'm excited to do it. You know, oh Boom, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta stick to my diet. Not a single day has I have I ever had a complete day off. And uh, you know, I'm making humor skits, now I'm on Sweden Who's Got Talent, now I gotta do this, uh, you know, lecture, now I gotta do this, now I gotta do that. All things that I want and that I've been waiting to do, like I just wanted to unleash myself, my potential, and, and the things that I wanna do. And soon after three months, um, my abs started to show a little bit, which was the goal. The goal was to go so hard in on these three months. I'm not exactly where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in even better shape. I may have underestimated how long it's gonna take, but I'm always beating myself up that I'm not working out hard enough, that I'm not, you know, uh, dieting hard enough. And at the same time, I am talking about, you know, you can do it and enjoy the process. You can eat kind of whatever you want as I've showed today. And you know, people are starting to get in my comments and they're saying like, man, if you just quit that junk food, you'd get in shape. If you just stop eating all those hamburgers, you'd get in shape. And I know that's not true because when I did my first three months transformation, I was at McDonald's every, third, every three days, every four days. I had massive cheat days and I completed that transformation in three freaking months. Maybe I just need to give it more time. But the thing is giving me anxiety and I wanna scale my business. I wanna keep growing my business. I've, I have taken on uh, in total 165 clients since starting. Maybe I'm not able to go 100% in the gym and on the diet because I'm so spread thin on other things. The other day I did a com comedy stand-up comedy gig. At this point, like what I wanna do now is I wanna hire some people to help me build programs so I can take on even more clients. But I'm just stuck, man. I'm stuck, I can't, I, I'm ashamed to do it. I'm ashamed to, hey, you wanna get in shape after summer? But it's like, dude, you promised us you'd get in shape in six months and you're not in shape. I can't fucking do that, I can't fucking promote. I gotta complete this mother, I gotta complete this fucking transformation. And I'm not up here to talk and say, hey guys, give me some, give me a pat on the back. Say it's all right. I don't, that's not what I want. I just, I just wanna say, I just wanna say what I feel. I just wanna let you guys know that shit, the anxiety can be real. And I have to accept it. I failed to uh, reach my goal which was to beat my last year's physique. I failed to reach it. It hurts, man. And that's why I'm on my way to the gym, even though, you know, it's they close in about one and a half hour. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not trying to hide the fact and just keep up a facade and be like, hey man, you know, eat like this, eat like that. I want to keep it real. I have to uh, accept the, the, the loss. I have to take the loss except that I failed and just, I cannot scale my business until I have everything in place. I can't rush progress that I haven't achieved yet. It's gonna take another two to three months. And as much as it hurts, as much as I feel like I'm, you know, letting people down, it's the fact. Fuck man, I'm, I'm gonna kill this workout. That's what I gotta, I have to do it, so let's just keep.
Fuck, I would have been fucking feeling like complete shit if I skipped the gym. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm such a giving up. What the fuck am I doing with the camera? I'm gonna sneeze again. This is how I've been handling life. You know, some days, some weeks, fitness is going on top, super motivated, everything's just planned, and then sometimes it's just complete chaos. Using these kind of tools that I have and kind of like the mentality, um, it doesn't stop you, all right? So I'm gonna walk through uh, five myths uh, that are stopping you from being able to do the same. You think that you have to stop eating sugar, you have to just eat like healthy foods, no junk food whatsoever, transitioning from your current lifestyle to just being the complete healthy, that's like, is this even worth it? The thing is, you can eat whatever you want. The second myth is that you think that you have to eat at specific hours. Okay, let me clarify this. When you eat has no impact on your results whatsoever. If I don't eat within the magical 30 minute window, all the muscles are gonna be wasted. These are all complete myths. I, you can eat whenever the fuck you want. The third myth is you think that you cannot eat out anymore. You cannot go to restaurants. You cannot have a social life. You think that you can't go to the cinema with your friends because the foods that you can eat there, uh, it's not gonna allow you to get your results. This is not true. The fourth myth is uh, you think that you can only drink water from now on. No more juice, no more soda, no soft drinks, nothing like that. If there's something that you can drink when you're on a cut, it's zero caloric products. Now, I'm not saying that's healthy, but I'm saying you can, and it's not gonna mess up your results. The fifth myth, which might be the biggest myth, is you think that there is a problem with the way you're working out. Working out with a bad diet is better than not working out at all. But working out with a good diet that beats everything. Okay, now that I've walked through all these uh, myths, you're probably asking, so how do I do this? By counting your calories. Calories in, that's all, all the things that you're eating, the food. And calories out is your body's needs and functions, you know, breathing, heartbeat, all the, these things, they require energy, but also the activity that you're doing. The more activity you're doing, the more energy you're spending. So your weight is gonna stand still if the calories that you're getting in, the energy that you're getting in is the same as the energy that you're spending and that your body requires to maintain all its function. If you're getting in as much calories that you're, as you're spending, then your weight's gonna stay the same. You're gonna lose weight if you're getting in less calories than you're spending. I wanna give a huge shout out to my client Tim where we put uh, him in a caloric deficit. In 12 weeks, he was able to drop 12 kilos. That's a kilo a week. Meanwhile, he was uh, gaining his strength. Uh, at the end of this program, he was stronger than he was at the end of the program. And as you, can, you guys can see, he got his definitions to show. Uh, he's gonna bulk up now and uh, focus on getting more muscle mass. But how do I know how many calories I should consume? In this video, I've used the app LifeSum to calculate the foods, to see how much calories and energy it is in the food. The app also helps you to figure out your calories, what you should be consuming. So basically, you just go into the app and you enter your stats. How tall am I? How, you know, how much do I weigh? What is my goal? My activity? All these things, and it's gonna give you the calories that you should be consuming. It's up to you to just do that. And if you're wondering, all right, so now that I got that figured out, I have my calories, I have everything, uh, what, what, what should my training program be? So you can hire me in the description, but if you're unsure, I recommend you to go and download the free program first. And if you decide to hire me as a coach, I will do everything I can in my power to get you in your transformation. Anyways, I hope this video was useful. And if you would like to follow the journey, I'm not uploading too often, so make sure to hit that bell if you don't wanna miss out what's going on with my journey. I'm so glad to be back here in Sweden and it's time to work and finish this cut even though it's a little bit overdue. I cannot wait for that feeling that to say, hey man, I, I did it, regardless if I, failed on the way, regardless if you know, the judgment of others, I still did it. And if you wanna be part of that, make sure to subscribe. So, see you guys in the next video. Peace!